The deepest part of the temple lies just ahead. It is the altar of the Twelve, where the dragon god Et slumbers. What is this really sinister voice? There is unquestionably something totally not good back there. This magla. It feels like that of a normal dragon. But somewhat different. What is this? Well, that's why we're here. Let's go. I don't like this. Ready? Time to go! There was a dragon, after all! I thought this thing needed a priestess to summon it! Is that the lance? We are in no condition to claim it. Fire and flame! Has even the dragon god succumbed to melancholia? No. I think this is something worse. Look! On its back! Something clings to it. A human. Is that the fiend behind this chaos? That's the worst double act I've ever seen. Look at its eyes. Its mouth, like it's shielding itself, or... Like it refuses to confront anything, or almost like... You forget back! We've got bigger problems than the ritual! This thing wants to eat us! You... you would fight our god! What can we do but defend ourselves? Yufa! I... I'm... Look out! wrong to assume. I was quick to judge. But your rights are not acts of barbarism. Yours is a proud heart. But still, see the truth. Is this your god? Who demands martyrs? Who desires tragedy? Is that truly a god worthy of your devotion and faith? <sighs> hmm. 
Arise now, priestess! Have you come here only to be saved? Or will you find purpose beyond death to stand and fight as a savior? <laughs> I want to! Oh, Lodestar, ye torn maiden of faith. Oh, thou anguished traveler. <laughs> Thy long stagnant stance have finally been broken. Now choose thy path. I... I love that island. I love the smell of its verdant flora. But what I love more than anything is its people. Their words may be coarse, but their hearts are true. I must save them! Please! Thank you. Thou hast chosen a noble parting. Henceforth, thy fears and insecurities become thy light. O oh, Lodestar, whose light reveals the King's own path, awaken! If I cannot save them in death, then I swear I'll protect them with my life! as a team that thing on its back that's the human possessing it right yes it must be if we strike at the human precisely we may be able to separate them everyone you need not hold back we fight to save the dragon god et and i i shall fight with all i am we're not sacrificing anyone come on team we fight together
take it. I am grateful. I'm obliged. That helped. Observe the enemy. Pugilist! Pierce through them! Dragon! <laughs> the Dragon God Et has returned to its sacred vessel. Legend has it that while in its vessel, that's when the Dragon God's power is greatest and weakest when it takes to raging wing. So if it has a true form, you see it now before you. And here is our village's divine relic, Dracodios, Lance of the Dragon God. It was rusty and warm, but now it almost gleams. So dragons aren't just magical beasts. They're a manifestation of pure magla. My sister's research. She was right. You all had the right of it. All these tragic calamities, they are not born of the Dragon God's wrath. And maybe they arose from the temple's melancholia. Perhaps that human was the source. It is not the first time. Thinking back on it now, a human has always been at the heart. You think humans are what's causing all of this? No, I don't think that's quite it. Something about that monster, the way it instinctively tried to shield its eyes and ears. It was as if we faced the living past of the Mustari people itself. The Mustari reject the world beyond ours, lost and comforted by ignorance. And in adversity, it is our god we cling to as cause and answer to our suffering. Maybe we have only ourselves to blame. A self-inflicted madness. Our hearts are the source of Magla, of magic arts. Even this new power, this archetype that has awakened within me. Another... I did not know this one existed. <sighs> if this mural had been lost until now, then... Hmm... This paints quite a different picture of the priestess. She looks to be fighting. You suppose this is the truth of the priestess's duty? 
I mean, offering her life to quell the calamity threatening the village. Maybe that's what it meant all along. <sighs> it had always seemed odd that the Dragon God dwelled within a lance, of all things. Not a sealed urn, but a weapon. My brother often wondered about it. We were wrong. No, we did not even think to question. You would have died in the name of an era of semantics. The world has not been kind to you, girl. No. On the contrary. I feel I've been saved. I finally see my path laid before me. So thank you. Let us return now to the village. You said you had business with the Lance when all this had settled down, did you not? Yes. But I doubt you'll want to let go of it after all that. We have to figure that out. I cannot simply relinquish it, but perhaps instead... <laughs> what was that? Surely not. The human from the altar? How has it not perished? I heard it enter the water. This channel leads straight to the ocean. If it seeks prey to regain its strength... Then it can only be headed for the village. Damned beast! So much for taking it slow on the way back. After it! like the little lady made it, I'll say. Of course, but more importantly... Right, we've got a human on the hunt. Del's helping the villagers get to higher ground. Truly? I'd not have expected it of him. That's Fidelio through and through, isn't it? I am Euphasia, the priestess. Thank you for helping with the evacuation. Here on we shall... Oh, priestess! It's the priestess! Lady Yufa, please save us. What don't you lot get about evacuate? You want to live, do as you're told. Priestess, what happened to the ritual? What of the dragon god's wrath? Did you even perform the rite? Oh, this is a disaster. How can we survive now? The dragon god Et is here as our guardian deity. Don't worry, you'll get your ritual. The real one, that is. The ritual that's been buried for hundreds of years. As the priestess, on my life, I will drive back this calamity. Hold on now. You're not actually gonna fight, are you? Basilio, where's the monster? So be it. We end this here. We can do this! It is time I put the truth to our teachings and rituals. I stand anew. I stand with you. I thought we already finished this guy. Jesse's a stubborn one. Behold this power. Gale! To the rear guard. General! Let me help. That was helpful to you. Helpful as ever. Everyone is counting on me. Let us combine our powers. Get him! Come forth now. Seriously? 
No holding back! Burn to ash! Last, that's a... How are they so good? It didn't affect them! I will fight with pride! When is it working? Try hitting them with something else! Come forth, royal soul! Here! I am grateful. Thanks! My thanks! My strength! So heavy! I call upon royal power within! Perhaps not. I'll withdraw for you the moment. Face Hulkenberg. I, I call upon a royal soul! Let's get through! Cool. Thank you! Trust me. I won't fail you. The battlefield is mine to conduct. General! This is it! 
Still here? Nick, here I go! The situation has changed. I'd rather refrain for now. Now face me! This Thanks. could survive. Thank you, thank you. I've got just the dance for you. You might say it's to die for. Behold this power! Maybe your turn! General! The magic seeds! A tough one! Be neither timid nor arrogant. The rest is yours. You face Hulkenberg for all that we strive for. Still standing, I see. Let's see. General, this is it. This is for the future of the Mastari. Fall. Not bad at all. I admit, it feels good to get stronger. I continue to grow. Even I had more to learn. I am most certainly stronger than I was. Right. That's the end of that. Everyone. Once again, thank you so much. What a spectacle! To think I could have evacuated and missed the performance. Yufa, that power. It must be the same power wielded by priestesses of old. My rescuers helped me realize that. You mean to say sacrifice was never the intent of the ritual? The priestess offers her life in service, not sacrifice. She takes up arms and faces the scourge. That is why our relic is a lance. A mural on the altar suggested as much. It's likely the murals of this village don't actually depict sacrifice either. You saw what was inside the temple. What was it? Something the church would rather keep buried? Some other mystical relic? A relic? Hardly. We saw a ruined city of the old world. Evidence of a history before our own. Small wonder the clergy can't send their monks. Anyone who saw that would have their faith shaken. It's all but physical proof that the Sanctus scriptures are fiction. You don't say. However, we of the islands have done no better in upholding the truth of our past. With all my heart, I wanted to save our village. But all I did was sit and hope. Lady Yufa. I clung to my determination with such fervor. Perhaps without my noticing, it became a desire for atonement. The day you left, Adeni, even the night father and mother left this world, I could do naught but sit and wait and hope. I believed it was my role as priestess. If I had done anything at all to change it, perhaps we would not have faced such horrors. You can do your changing now. After all, you're still alive, you've got years ahead of you, and you've got friends and family close. You needn't bear this alone. We support them. Without the right of sacrifice. Was... was that also depicted in the temple? I, I, is that really the truth of the teachings? Is that so difficult to understand? What matters the murals or the truth of the teachings? Do you believe the priestess fought out of tradition alone? She fought because she wanted to protect us. This village. She fought for you and I. Our lives and joys. Is that not enough reason to support her? You made good on your promise to save my sister. Words cannot express my thanks. But there is something that must finally be said. Yufa, I'm glad you chose life.
understand now. It's not slaying monsters that gets rid of the melancholia. I think it goes away when we help people overcome their fear and anxiety. I have to say, for the moment there, it looked like we'd have more dead than alive. But now they've got the Lance, Priestess, and the whole sodden village in their corner. <laughs> it's only relevant as far as it matters for Luis's sake, Baz. Remember, we're doing this for a world where your blood don't matter, long as you can fend for yourself. Spose, but... What about them that can't fend for themselves? Like them village folk you helped save? Reminds me of that Glodel business, too. They're tough enough that they don't need dirty tricks. If he challenged them, and they won fair and square... Pack it in, Basilio. Our war may be quieter, but we're still fighting. Hesitate out there, and you're dead. Del.